Find the area inside the cardioid r equals to 4 plus 4 cosine theta and outside the circle r equals to 2. So you have this cardioid 4 plus 4 cosine theta and r equals to 2 is a circle and you want something that's inside the cardioid but outside this circle. So this is the area that you want to find. And before we actually try to find the area, we need to know exactly at what angle these two meet. And to do that, uh, we will first try out setting the two things equal, 4 co plus 4 cosine theta equals to 2. And then uh, you have 4 cosine theta equals to negative 2. So you're looking for cosine theta equals to negative 2 over 4, which is negative 1 half. Now, if you look at the graph of the cosine function, and if you're looking for the angle theta, where this cosine becomes negative 1 half, well, it's somewhere here and there, right? And these angles are, well, uh, you know, there are three special angles inside each quadrant. This is, by the way, 90 degrees, and that's 180 degrees. And bigger than 90 degrees, less than 180 degrees, there's a 120 degrees, 135 degrees, and 150 degrees. And among them, this one is the smaller one. So we know that this angle must be 120 degrees, or in terms of radians, is 2 pi over 3. Now, likewise, uh, you can see that the, the next place where they meet is 4 pi over 3. And once you know that they meet at these angles, now it's uh, our turn to figure out what the area integral should be. Now, there's one thing, however, you want to do. Um, if you want to write this as an integral, you either have to integrate from 0 angle until 2 pi over 3, or uh, and, and then add the angle 4 pi over 3 to 2 pi. So you end up having to uh, add two areas together. Or uh, since this is coterminal to negative 2 pi over 3, you can also integrate from negative 2 pi over 3 to 2 pi over 3 to get this area. But uh, rather than doing that, usually plugging in 0 makes things easier. So why not just integrate from 0 until 2 pi over 3, but that only gives you this much, so you multiply that by 2. So that's our uh, approach, okay? So we're going to say the area is 2 times, uh, remember, r d r d theta is the area element uh, for polar coordinate system. dA is r d r d theta. Remember that. And uh, to get the area, you just integrate 1, right? So 1 is integrated over this area. And uh, the angle goes from 0 to 2 pi over 3. Uh, d theta goes from 0 to 2 pi over 3. Uh, but what do you put here? Well, in between, that's the value for r, right? And uh, for, for dr, when you think about dr, you should really think of it as something that's painted in the radial direction, okay? And actually, uh, this dr, when you paint this region, you always start from some point on this curve, r equals to 2, and you end at this curve, r equals to 4 plus co 4 cosine theta. So you start from r equals to 2, and you end at r equals to 4 plus 4 cosine theta, and that's what I placed in these places. Okay, So uh, with a little bit of practice, you can figure out how to write these angles. Uh, it's really important that you know the uh, angles first and then uh, once you figure out the angles then uh, you have to see where the inside curve is uh, usually you have to write down it as r equals to something and then outside curve is again r equals to another function of theta and uh, when you see these it's really like r equals to 2 and r equals to 4 plus 4 cosine theta because dr is here all right so let's just do the calculation remaining is just straightforward calculation First, 1 times r is r, obviously, and therefore you're integrating r. Integral of r is 1 half r squared, and uh, you can cancel the 2 and 1 half, so that goes away, and these two values now go into r, 
and you have to subtract it because it's the fundamental theorem of calculus. You have to plug in, plug in, and you subtract, right? So if you do that, then uh, this is the interval that you have to do. And then I'm going to FOIL this out, right? Uh, just write 4 plus 4 cosine theta squared as uh, this times itself. And if you expand this out, then you're going to get this. And this entire thing comes from here. 2 squared is 4, right? And then what I'm going to do here is first 16 minus 4 is 12, right? And then for this cosine squared, I'm going to use a very important identity you, you should memorize, which is cosine squared of a is equal to 1 plus cosine 2a over 2. So using that identity to replace this cosine squared, this is what I get. Then uh, furthermore, I can simplify. 16 divided by 2 uh, gives you 8. 8 times 1 plus 12 gives you 20. And then you, already, uh, you also have 8 times cosine 2 theta. So that's what I wrote here. And then uh, you integrate each one of them. That's uh, not so hard. 20 it integrates to 20 theta, 32 cosine. Cosine integrates to sine. And uh, cosine 2 theta integrates to 1 half sine 2 theta, but uh, 1 half times 8 is 4. That's why I get this 4. Okay, now it remains to plug in these endpoints into the, these thetas, and then you subtract. Uh, but one thing that you should see is that if you plug in 0 in here, here, and here, because sine 0 is 0, all of these become zero when you plug in zero. So the only thing that survives after plugging this in is when you plug in two pi over three. So let's just write those down. And I also use the fact that sine of two pi over three is radical three over two, and sine of four pi over three is negative radical three over two. And then if you simplify, that is the final answer. That is the area of this region.